Well, I'm kind of new to hunting vampires. I mean, I'm, I'm in this because there's a much larger threat to all of Tamriel. And that's why I'm here for the Elder Scroll. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Try to handle this quickly. Hello? The screams. They pierce my mind. I can't stand it. Is that all you have I to say? Terrible for the dead who end up here for a time. There's no escape. It seems awful. Like they're still suffering. Okay. Is it gonna harm us? Seems peaceful enough. What what's this over here? Hello? The clouds, the sky. It's all wrong. Everything's wrong. Okay. And what does this do? seem to do anything. All right, more of these soul husks. We might as well collect them. Another person up here. Or soul. Hello? This accursed place is nothing but a prison without walls. And what's this up here? I don't see a way of getting through. Embers, Geob's Opus. Hmm. And what's in here? Huh, just soul gems, that's it? Okay. All right, 
let's keep going this way. Hello? Get out while you can. All right, thank you. What have you got? <gasps> what? What is it? At least your gargoyle isn't attacking me. I happen to know someone that's looking for these ancient Nordic, um, artifacts, so that's why I'm picking these up. Just in case you were wondering. Look at the, these. Alright, I don't know what they're for. I probably shouldn't stand on them. someone else hello you must help me find my Arvac he doesn't deserve to be in a place like this all right who's Arvac Arvac my horse we came to this horrible place together we were attacked by monsters so I told him to run please he's such a loyal creature and he's been running for so long you have to save him a place like this will change you how can I help him? Arvac? Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! All right, then. All right, we need to find his skull. some more of these uh Serana shouldn't you tell me about the rules of this place I guess we're headed toward that that castle up there on their bones and what's the matter with you let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers how in the name of Zenith are was I to know the ingredients were phony do I look like someone that would double cross a necromancer um, well I really can't see you that clearly so I don't know so that's how you got here you got it horse wagon and all Plopped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. Now people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Got anything left? Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? 
take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. There must be something you want. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus-looking things growing out of the ground. Yes, I've been collecting them. Say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. All right, fair enough. What do you have? Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather, before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If we have the husks. Well, I don't have 25 husks at the moment. No husks, no sale. Guess you have some scavenging to do. Yes, I guess so. Alright. What is this over here? This might be something I can train? Wow, I don't know. Will my... Oh, I can go that far. Alright, this opened up. All this for a soul gem? Really? There must be more to this. Alright, let's keep going toward the castle, Serana. What's that? It's him. It's the horse again. He's got what? Look out, Serana. moving. Is this some sort of barrier? Mother? Mother! Be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it! How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Well, this is no ruse, ma'am. I want to keep her safe. We're on a l mission that's larger than all of us. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade, I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. 
I would have expected her to explain that to you. Well, I'm kind of new to hunting vampires. I mean, I'm, I'm in this because there's a much larger threat to all of Tamriel. And that's why I'm here for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What? What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. And how does Serana fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Bol. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Bol on his summoning day. You survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Heart. All right, so you're saying that the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood? Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying that Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I'm not gonna allow that to happen. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? Well, I'm gonna need your help. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. And Serana's opinion in this? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Well, for some reason Serana believes in me. Although I'm not quite sure I believe in her. But I think you should believe in me, too. Serana, this stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end... I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me, but for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Oh, thank you. Well, do you have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. All right, well, what do I need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. 
Gates. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. All right then, we'll return soon. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Well, it's a good thing that I happen to also be dragonborn. Isn't that convenient? All right, well, if I leave the Soul Cairn, can I safely return? As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. How did you become imprisoned here? When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. And what was the bargain? I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn. And in exchange, I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they crave. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. So they tricked you? The Ideal Masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. And you became trapped? Unfortunately, yes. Since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. And you've been imprisoned here for all this time? Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which will give in. And why haven't you pursued the prophecy? Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish, and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. What sort of attention? If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. The order of the day would be our destruction, until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. So, you prefer living in the shadows? I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. All right, very well. All right, Serana. It's time for us to try to bring down this barrier. Let's go.